Hello guys, what's up? This is Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Today, video is about romancing Saga Universe, and we will be talking about the best places for you to farm for status before you reach 415 on Very Hard Lurking Shadow. Uh, we talked about Lurking Shadow on the past video, but people were asking me to make a different video uh, because they were having problems reaching this point. They were not strong enough to reach here, they were having problems in other stages. So, uh, waiting to get this point will be not helpful. Okay, so what I did was starting from scratch and try to understand the easiest and mass rewarding stages for you to farm on early levels. So, in order to do so, we have to travel back in time and start the game again. <laughs> not exactly, but I did that just to try to research and find out the best process. So the very first good point to farm is Summit Gate on Normal 1 to 12. This is the place where you farm from Rouge. This is the only place where you should be farming on the start of the game. And even if you uh, don't want Rouge, it's still a best a good place to farm. But uh, it's where you start learning the mechanics of this game. Because it's the very first stage where playing on auto may not be <laughs> good enough. You'll probably be dead before you know. So you also probably have to use your some uh, expedition tickets to get stronger to face this boss. And then uh, you can see uh, I have a lot of information on this panel trying to explain uh, how many status you can get by stage, the energy it costs, the layout of the stage, the layout meanings, uh, how many enemies you face. On this stage particularly is two enemies, then two more enemies and last is a boss. And the reason why I recommend this is because it drops Rouge. But not only that, uh, it's also, uh, we are talking about farming for status. You have to understand how farming for status works. Uh, you can see that we have a glowing aura on our characters. This means that we still have status to farm when we're checking our parties. The last character on this list is Diana. Diana, my Diana specifically, still has some status to farm. And when we click on character, again, you see her final base values. She doesn't have 12 on any of her status, that's why she still have that glowing aura and she can learn a lot of status from this stage. The other four characters actually have better status, so they have lower hates to get status from here. And not only that, we have different auras, like we can compare to Grey here, the four character. His glowing aura is slower and different color, meaning that he probably only has HP to gain from here. So all other status are above 12. Let's check out to see if this is indeed true. We can turn off. Yeah, this is indeed true. You can see that he has 300 HP. We can get up to 380, so we will only be getting HP on the stage with Kray. So choose well when you are choosing a stage to farm. So, okay, we talked about this. After you finish your farming on Water Dragon, you can choose the next place. I recommend Stairs to Sub Level. It's a stage on 2.2.8 normal. It's very easy to farm this stage because the enemies are weak to Slash. Here, on this stage, you have a very easy time. The very first enemy is weak to Slash, the second as well, and the last three as well. We get a lot of Slash characters because it's the most common type of damage. So after this part here, I do recommend you skipping uh, to encyclement by day when you finish the farming here because Rugen Mountain Pass is good but has more cost of energy and Rescue Mission is the same. Uh, you can simply uh, skip to encyclement by fate going to chapter 4 on normal. Let's check here, it's 4.1.8 to quiet Queen of Day normal and then we have to go to encirclement by day. Here we can get the total of 19 status and 450 on HP. Only 8 of energy, different than the other stages you can see here. And 2 enemies, then 2 enemies, and then 1 enemy. Some of them are weak to slash as well, will be very easy to grind here. After this point, you see that we have to skip 5 points in power to check out the next best one, because Cavern Entity starts to sub-level hard, and 2 of the planes are actually not so good to farm, because they are very similar and they actually cost more energy. Okay, 1.1.1, we go there, it's very hard. Uh, let's go to the very first start of the game, and this has some good information along with that. Uh, when you play on normal, on hard, or very hard, most of the time, the stages will have a different layout. Not only the enemies will have 
mm, you'll be fewer or more, but sometimes even different, totally different enemies will appear. On this part here, 1.1.1, uh, very hard, you will face the same enemies as normal was, or hard, but actually less enemies, but with more resistance in HP. This also drops F, uh, SS Pet Robin, and also this one here, a Blackstone. Blackstone is used for awakening of your skills, meaning this is a very good place to farm for status and get some added bonus as well. But the bad part is that it costs 15 energy, so it may take way too much time to farm for Fat Robin and you may need to skip this. But I still recommend or either farming here or Ocean Battle on very hard, it's the next stage, call it 1 2 1. 1 2 1 is very easy because there are only the same enemies, this fish here is very easy to die, he doesn't have any AoE, very easy to defeat. So he also drops a Ness weapon, that is a claw. It's similar to Qatar, but uh, Qatar is a little better. Okay, so now after this point, well, we have to change the, our approach. We go to daily, and then we have to defeat the uh, Ruins Exploration 3 Glowstones. There are 10 versions of the stages here, and the very first and good one to farm is Iron Ruins level 4. Actually, level 3 is also good, but I don't think it's better than the other stages that you have to claim through story. There are more enemies here, you see? The layout is always the same. You face 2 enemies, then 3 enemies, and then 3 more enemies. The starting from Iron Ruins 4 is good because you also get a Ness stone that can help you with evolving your equipment in the future. So all the energy you spend here will not go to waste, will always help you with some things in the future. Okay, so you go to Iron Ruins 4, the cap here is higher, it's 29 points and 550 on HP, the energy cost is low, it's only 10, and it's a very good place because of the good ground. After the, the Iron Ruins level 4, you go to Iron Ruins level 5, and this is almost the same with 6 points more in status, 35 status and 610 on HP, very nice, with only an increase of 1 point on energy. When you reach this point and you farm it enough, you can go back to very hard because we are probably strong enough and also uh, on the same level as 213 on very hard. This is the place where we farm for all way, here under C2. It's a good place for you to farm for status. You can also get a Ness uh, Axe that can help you, even all way if you, got, if you get all way. And getting more characters on the start of the game will help you have more diversity. On your squads. Decide if you get we want to get Aoi or not. His uh, drop hate is better than Rouge because he on, is on very hard and in coast of energy is higher as well. So decide if you want or not. Let's go back to dailies and then three glowstones again. And then we have uh, Iron Ruins number six and seven. Six goes 13 energy but it gives you on 41 on status and 670 on HP. This is, we are already reaching the cap. This is very good to farm. Iron Ruins number 7 may be a little hard, but it gets up to 45 status and 710 HP. This is the highest that we can get one launch of the game. And um, up to chapter 5, this will be the, the best as well. So farming here or Lurking Shadow will actually be the same. But uh, I still believe Lurking Shadow is better, even though it goes uh, 3 energy more, it has better chances of getting other stuff, and you probably already have way too many stones, stones from Glowstone's dungeons. So let's get back to Lurking Shadows, our starting point, and now the last point. We talking about reaching this stage because it's the best one, and you reach it here, just keep grinding here. Um, will be the best place for quite some time. It's uh, amazing how this is easy to defeat and also rewarding. So guys, even through Lurking Shadow is the best place for you to farm. You may choose different stages if all your characters are on low levels, because you can start by Summit Gate and jump to Star Sub level, and then maybe go to the Item Ruins after that, because uh, you can run more stages with lower energy. You only have a chance to get st uh, status on the end of the fight. 18 energy, uh, it's the same as 3 runs on stars to sub level if your characters have the same glowing aura around them. So use this in your favor, try to run some lower coast stages. 
So this is it guys, thank you for watching this video till the end, this took me two days of research but I hope this helps people that were having difficulty, so give a like, comment and subscribe to help this channel grow, we see each other on the next video, bye!